Has this happened to you? Are you afraid it's going to happen to you? Stay tuned and we'll go through how to avoid that. Hey everyone, Artist by Design, Dana Haynes here. What's up? Welcome, thanks for dropping in where we cover all things art. We discuss digital, web design, multimedia, photography, everything artists need to know. I sold my first piece of a traditional artwork in oil when I was 14. I've been in digital web design and programming for 21 years. I have 10 years of photography and studio experience and 32 years in business management and owning a small business. So take a moment right now before you forget so we can dive right in. What you're going to get out of this video is the best places to store your family photos, your artwork, and where they won't get crunched and munched and messed with. That way you have backup in case anything like that happens. So I looked into this about 10 years ago because I was having storage issues and you know my computer was messing up and I was like I gotta put these files were huge that I was doing this artwork with so I looked into storage plans and my computer, I had a gaming computer and it was dying <laughs> and I had to transfer all this. So I used an external hard drive, but then <laughs> the hard drive crashed. So what do you do? You look for alternatives. Well, being in web, website stuff, I automatically went to, well, I've got to put this on a host or something and I was broke at the time. It was right before I started the studio job. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to lose all my stuff. So what was the best solutions? I, back then, my, my obvious choice was, well, I got to get a web, a host, web host. And the prices were getting ridiculous. And I was like, because they, you know, there for a while they got on a big, kick about bandwidth and then they got on a big kick about storage and you really can't build a big website without them charging you an arm and a leg. Now this was 10 years ago so I went and I looked again because things have changed in 10 years. Some things have gotten better and some things have gotten worse. What is going on that is a real problem is people automatically assume that on these my, my photos are safe because I saved them on social media. Well, what you need to know about this is the gist of it is they crunch your photos. Okay, so if you go to print this up, it looks beautiful online, but it's very, very small. Okay, and they've crunched it and they've stripped it to the point that it's going to print okay in maybe a 3x5 or a 5x7 if you're lucky. When you start getting into I want an 8x10 of this, it's not going to look good. So you don't really, I mean, I got taught this lesson very early on with AOL messing with my files. You have to check this stuff. Are they going to strip your, your photos? or your artwork, or whatever it is that you need to store. Are they going to mush it, crunch it, whatever? You know, because it's not the same file after they get done with it. <laughs> and the truth is, these, the studio gave out, you know, and they charge maybe five bucks for them or something, but they're very, very small pictures that somebody couldn't print up. They weren't high resolution. Well, you want to save your pictures in high resolution so you don't want to use your social sites as a backup plan now i have at at the time you know wasn't really thinking about i did sa save my family photos on facebook so the kids had access to them and it got down to everything got munched crunched my hard drive died my uh computer died <laughs> All about this, they just kind of got, you know, surged and I lost everything. And thank God I did have them on there, but I know for a fact that they're not any good. And I went searching for where can I put my, my foot, because family photos are important. You know, we're not just talking about 
artwork here. We're talking about how to save your memories. And <clears throat> 10 years ago, I'm like, well, I'm on these websites. So, you know, at least it got saved on, on these art sites. Well, was that a good idea? And I went searching. And at the time, you know, because I couldn't afford a host, which was sad. <laughs> I was really broke at, at the time. Um, it was, it's a long story. Anyway, just of it is, I went looking for a solution. Yes, I had them backed up on these art sites, but I wanted my originals backed up, which were large files. And I wanted to make sure my family photos were okay. So at the time, the only place, because the hosting was too high for that volume of what I was saving, you know, I had right now, I mean, I've already got like 200 gigs of stuff <laughs> and I haven't even moved my old artwork onto, to my new computer completely. So <laughs> that's just me getting started. Um, so you got to think about this when you're, you're, saving your family stuff and your art, artwork because the files will get large. And my solution was I went to photo bucket at the time and I don't even know if they're still around and they had a plan where you could basically upload in private. And at the time, it was the cheapest solution for me. And I also went and looked on art sites. So the best solution that I had come up with was DeviantArt. And the reason why I chose them, I mean, I did have my artwork backed up on, on other sites. But the downfall to them was, one, were they crunching them? And two, could I re-download them later on and deviant art while well, it doesn't have you know i'll show you right here well that's this is how this is their 10 year ago kind of thing going on you literally to download one of your pictures you had to go in and edit each one <laughs> You know, all all my stuff is watermarked. You have to go in and you have to, you know, mark it for a free download so you can update it, download it. Then you have to edit it again and put the watermark back on there and, and close it off. And But this was the best solution 10 years ago because DeviantArt was the only one that you can download your artwork from. And I, when I ran into this problem, I was really big on image kind when they came out. And I still think their prints are, you know, some of the, the best around because they're artist grade. But the gist of it is I can go in I can look at my album and this is kind of why, okay, maybe this isn't the best solution for you. You know, yes, you might want, you want those fine prints, but you need to be able to download this and you can't. Okay. They've changed, changed it. See, I have everything watermarked and even if I change the watermark on it and pull, it's not the same file. So <clears throat> I kind of, I went with DVNR because that was a little bit quicker edit process to get my download again. So anyway, on the art sites, it's something to be aware. That's what you're going to look at. Will they let you download your art? and DeviantArt, Redbubble, um, do, you can go in and Redbubble has actually thought about this and it, I, let me get to where my edit screen is real quick here. Sorry. 
Where is it? So anyway, the the quickest one, it's still you have to go in. None of them have this bulk download. And at the time you could F, FTP, which is something, you know, ancient <laughs> um, web designers knew you could FTP up to a site. Well, DeviantArt was the only one that would let you do that. And photo bucket and I ended up storing on photo bucket briefly and I think I paid like 10 bucks for it to to move all my files over there and it took days to do that and then I had to download them later after I got the new computer and this is why you want to keep in mind you know do you want to go on these websites oh come on <laughs> And, you know, I have to, I've got thousands of pieces of artwork here. Do I want to have to go in if, say, I lose everything again, which I have <laughs> um, gone through again. And literally, you can go through and DeviantArt does this and Redbubble does this. And this is what makes them stand out. This is my worst case scenario. If you've lost your computer, if you've lost your artwork, you can still download the file from one of these sites. Okay. And it's something you need to be aware of when, when you're uploading. It's one of the things that made me choose certain sites over other sites. It's not something that you wouldn't, you would normally think about or most people don't think about. Okay. They, they're not dealing with the volume of artwork. I mean, I was production, so this is something I, I think about. You know, I have this web background, and it's going to be something that I think is very important. You're going to be very devastated if you ever lose all your stuff. You know, so what's changed in the last 10 years? Well, so, these sites, I have lost all my stuff. I, I've had a hard drive restored, cost me about 300 bucks, and I got everything back. I was lucky that time. I had it happen again. I don't even know why we ex we use external hard drives if they're going to crash and you're going to lose all your stuff. So I've gotten very, they need to be up in the cloud somewhere. But they need to be protected and private and make sure that you don't crunch. So social media is not going to be your go-to place to save. And this is what a lot of people are doing. And as a photographer, you know, with the whole save your memories thing and cherish those memories thing, it bugs me. And that's kind of why I'm making the video. People need to know, know this. As far as the artwork goes, what's going on is this is hard. This is, I did lose my drive. I've had to go in. I'm going to have to, I have backups of backups of backups. So, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> because I have had a hard two, three, four external hard drives crash, gaming computers crash and all this stuff. So <clears throat> I think about this stuff and it's still, you know, going in. And doing this with each one, this would would have been my largest picture, you know, for 1100 And this is just me kind of playing around artwork. This isn't, you know, my photography stuff, you know. So having to go in and download each one of those individually, you're, it's... It's difficult, but when you think about being on an art site, this is one of the things you want to think about. Will I have access to my artwork the way that I originally uploaded it? But things have changed in the last 10 years. Uh, web hosting has got a little bit cheaper. Um, I went and I checked it out because normally, like I said, that would be my go-to for storage space. That's the quickest, the easiest you can upload in bulk and you can download in bulk and get your stuff back. So 
do I want to do that? You know, so I went and I kind of looked at, at storage and this is kind of a joke for me. Like I said, just program programs on my computer are taking up, what, 200 gigs? So, and I back up everything. I mean everything. <laughs> you know, I had, I know my artwork was over like 300 gigs at, at full size. So, looking at this, 30, $30, 249 for, that's just not going to cut it for me. You know, and it might if you don't take a lot of pictures or do a lot of stuff like that. But it's not something I recommend anymore. It should have it should be the way to go. But this is one of the cheaper sites. GoDaddy's pretty consistent and reliable <clears throat> for hosting, and the the cost that they're caught is ridiculous. Now seven ninety nine a month. Well, for unlimited store storage, that that's but it's still when you think about it, pricey for what everything's costing nowadays. So looking at that, I went back, somebody had said, well, I just store my stuff on Google, which is a great place to store maybe your, your phone stuff, but there you need to be aware of that Google crunches your file files. Google, it's not the best place for them. So all these pictures everybody is taking on their phones are not <clears throat> not as good as what's what you took on your phone to begin with. So they're getting crunched as you update them. Then you might want to take them and go get them printed. And you're going to be disappointed because the print is not near as good as it should be. So I went and looked at this and, you know, compared hosting and stuff and the best way that I found really to go was <clears throat> Google you know I was hesitant about because it's artwork and that I'm storing and I really didn't want my unwatermarked stuff out in the public domain or somebody to get access to it so I didn't use OneDrive right off the bat you know they give you five gigabytes of storage for free well you know okay i'll store my documents there and i left it alone because i was leery about this whole cloud storage you know i know with the hosting you can lock files where people can't get it and that's why i used one um photo bucket originally 10 years ago is because i could lock those files just like a normal hosting situation they didn't crunch them and I could get at them and upload bulk and download bulk pretty fairly easily but what's changed is Microsoft obviously is where the problem too and they gave us OneDrive most people are going to this thinking this is the, the solution you know and as far as price wise um, it's pretty reasonable it's cheaper it's a but you got to understand your files are getting crunched and OneDrive doesn't do that so it's actually the best way to go and normally I don't I got rid of office a long time ago and I use what is it called let me pull it up it's open software <laughs> sorry I got a lot of stuff going on here so normally I use open office and I've used open office for a long time I have this balance thing going on between not letting these major companies completely take over everything and office was overpriced I wasn't gonna pay for it so <clears throat> I kind of, I left alone, didn't look at it, and then, like I said, I was researching this for all of you. Well, $1.99 for 100 gigabytes isn't bad, okay? That's, it's cheaper than Google Drive, and they actually give you the incentive right here. I need, I my computer has two terabytes 
for artwork and video and everything else and this is this is the cheapest way to go it's cheaper than hosting it's connected if you have a PC connected to your PC you get open office and then <clears throat> 6.99 a month a terabyte comes with it and you're covered you know so and if you're really bad some people I'm not heavy on video yet, but I will be at some point that, <clears throat> you know, $9.99 a month for six terabytes is, is a very good deal. So that is the way I would go because they do not crunch the files. Your original files stay intact. This is where I would save my personal family memories and the best place to store artwork because it is private. I looked into that too. It's not easily hacked. So this is the way you want to go. And so for those, uh, I love Google. <laughs> Been behind them a long time. You know, I fought the Microsoft thing, you know, with open software and that kind of stuff. But they actually... Are giving back to the community doing this. This is the best way to go. Are you following me? Am I making sense? If I am, hit the like button down below. Type muse in the comments or ask any questions that you have. So to wrap this up, basically you want to look at it this way. With personal files and folders, would 5 gigabytes be enough just for family memories? Probably. Okay, 100 gigabytes is enough. Um, with artwork, you need to look at two different things. You need to look at, well at the beginning, you need to look at where am I going to store the originals? Okay. This, this plan is what I'd use, but you also have to look at the art sites that you would use. Um, Photo Bucket still has that plan, looking at it. Um, you can embed your photos, so basically, you know, the, you're protecting them that way. They're still safe. Privacy concerns, privacy settings are all still there so I actually picked out pretty good places to go to to begin with and again they don't compress your photos so for family photos this is the route I would go okay or personal files or something like that if you need something within reason for your photos um, me being again you're looking at the prices this is 25 gigabytes is plenty for most normal family photos. $5.99 a month. I still think, you know, this is the better way to go. Neither one of them crunches your photos, but that's, that's the gist of it. Now, if you're professional, I'll get into the photography thing, which sites are best to go to for that because it's, a, you know, I did 5,000 at least sessions and each one of those had anywhere from 10 to 24 photos in it so or more depending if it was an event or something so you know that is a total topic on its own <laughs> this is just basic artist okay you know starting out or traditional art or something like that um thinking about the space you need how much are you going to need what I wanted to show you and still to the, this day that's great about DeviantArt you know it's it's a backup plan and some people are going to Adobe and and you need backup plans on top of backup plans is what I'm telling you because I've had each and every one of those fall through to the point that I did have to come and download one thing at a time here but it's happened <laughs> Okay, so I want to show you, I got to find it because they changed the site around. So DeviantArt, 50 bucks a month, which rounds out to about $5.99, which is about what Photo, Photo Bucket does. Um, you can have a stash, and it's 20 gigabytes. 
It used to be 10. So, so they're still thinking about this. So, you know, you can upload in bulk just like before. And what's neat about it is, you know, I have a whole file here of stuff. And now you can you can go in and hit that, download it. You know, is it the same picture? It's not crunched. That's all what I know. Okay, so they've updated this where it's a lot easier back than when I was dealing with it. <laughs> you know, so I can hit download and do it that. And it's so much quicker. It's still the quickest way to and last fail backup plan, but it's only 20 gigabytes. So you're not going to be able to save like, you know, I've had images that were almost a gigabyte in and of themselves. So you're not going to be able to save those original files. So you still want to use OneDrive for that. But your what you're posting for um, for prints and to sell or download, this is definitely the and I can I can get in more to how you save stuff because you're going to end up saving in so many different formats. You're going to have your original and then, you know, different formats for different stuff and, <laughs> you know, different art sites and all this stuff. But anyway, the, you can still bulk up, upload is the point here. Same with fo photo bucket. So if you're looking for, you know, 25 gigabytes to 20 gigabytes, just no no fail backup plan this is the way to go but like i said this is this is all of them so what i'm telling you is yes you should have an external hard drive if it fails then you have everything on one drive and it's private and not crunched and just in case you know, like family photos and stuff, they're important. So, you know, something like this would work. Again, this is the cheapest route to go. But I just wanted to show you why DeviantArt stands out so much. Because you can actually upload file folders, you know, and go through them and schedule stuff. And so, while everybody's kind of on the kick, DeviantArt's dead, it's still ahead of some of the others. You can't even do that on Red, Redbubble, which is one of my favorite sites. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, that's what I'm looking in in art sites on as far as storage goes. And what I'm looking at full storage for all of it, you know, would be one. I hope this helps. Let me know if it does. Make sure you comment down, down below and tell me what you think. If you've got a better solution, I want to hear it. Okay, and one more last thing before I, I close this out. The reason DeviantArt actually does stand above Adobe and all these other sites pushing artists to, to be on them, let's say something happens to you, and this is something I think about with the health issues. You know, I want my art to last. I want it to be around for my kids. So where do I go if I'm not here to pay these bills? What if I can't pay that whole dollar ninety nine? I'm not here anymore. You know, are are my kids gonna lose all my artwork? I can't pay Adobe. I'm not here anymore. So you know, my accounts will be closed. <laughs> so if you can't, and this is, you know, when I was looking around and got on Photoshop and. I mean, photo bucket and stuff like that. I was looking for solutions like that, and that's why you, you save on these art sites and stuff. And it's okay to be on as many of them as you can, you know. But the thing is, at some point, these platforms could fail, and your artwork go right out the door with them. So, one of the things I looked at with DeviantArt is it's been around a long time <laughs> you know it's probably been in the, the, dren the trenches as long as I have so you know I looked it up and they do not delete your artwork okay if you don't pay the bill 
which is a whole four ninety nine something like that a month a uh, year, your artwork stays there. And I actually ended up testing this theory because you know you go through spells where that's not your favorite place to be or whatnot. And I, like I said, I really got on the right bubble kick because of the way they print and upload and da 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 da. But anyway. I, I'll get into details about that, but the thing that stands out about DeviantArt is that one simple thing. If you can't pay that bill or something happens to you, your artwork's going to remain intact and it's going to be on the site. You won't be able to upload more artwork to it once you reach that 20 gigabytes, but anything that you've had will last. So it's a fail safe. So say I pass away tomorrow, my artwork may get deleted on all these other sites that I've been that I pay to or don't pay to or whatnot. And this is I they're not gonna want to hear this, but <laughs> I would even back up my get a backup of my photos family photos on here. Just because they don't delete the accounts, they don't delete the files, and it'll still be there. I went three years because I was off doing photo photography not thinking about digital this kind of digital artwork or traditional artwork I was just straight up doing photography so I didn't pay much attention to it and my files sat here and nothing happened to them they didn't delete them or, or any of that so you know three or four years I didn't pay the the whole four ninety nine because I was getting away from this but my files stayed intact nothing happened to them people could still go download print pay whatever I actually did have sales you know and me go oh, wow because <laughs> I hadn't looked at it for years so that is the thing that stands out about DeviantArt above all these other art sites they really they really are thinking about what a real artist needs are and while 20 gigabytes may not be much, it's still enough to do your, do your prints. So this is the route I would go when picking art sites. You know, it's, I, I love some of these other sites and they all have special features, but this one stands out. If something happens to me, my stuff is still going to be there. Okay. So that's the gist of, of, storage and the best ways to go about it so like I said this is the route to go as far as you know payment but if you want something to last long beyond what you're here these are the kind of sites you want to look for people they won't delete your stuff so again make sure you subscribe ring my bell down there below let me know what you think give me a shout out and a holler and I'll look forward to talking to you at low after the video if you're more of a gamer and into that you can follow me over on twitch live um, I'm on other social platforms you can follow me on Facebook Instagram Tumblr Twitter <laughs> you name it I'm on it um, I'm on a majority of the art sites. You can check all those links below and I look forward to seeing you at the next video.